John here. I'm working at the Bunker Youth Ministry and I'm in my Bomber themed office. It's Friday morning and I just want to give a couple keys or pointers to the game if you decide to watch the Banjo Bowl on Sunday on TSN of what the Bombers need to do to come out successful out of this game. Now obviously the records are backwards for Winnipeg and Saskatchewan completely reversed. Uh, Winnipeg being 1-8 and eight and Saskatchewan being 8-1 and one this season. So one might think right away that this game is going to be a nothing game or it's going to be a blowout game. But uh, this is a rivalry game and I expect Winnipeg to bring their best effort or at the very least I hope that they do to this game. Now a few keys that Winnipeg needs to do to be able to win this game is number one, they've got to stop Corey Sheets in the running game. Saskatchewan has a great running game this year and Sheets has been ripping up yardage on track for record setting numbers um, if he hasn't set a few records already by most consecutive 100 yard rushing games but he's he's been a beast this year and Winnipeg needs to be all over him. Interestingly enough Saskatchewan just signed uh, running back Chris Garrett I don't know if he'll be active for Sunday's game but maybe they're looking at him as a little bit of an insurance policy uh, just in case Sheets gets injured with all the touches and hits that he uh, takes on account of running the ball so much. Another key for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers is they've really got to tackle Darian Durant in the backfield when they have him scrambling around. There was a couple day, uh, times at the Labor Day Classic where Durant was scrambling, looked like Winnipeg had him under pressure, looked like they had him contained, and uh, Darian Durant either used his legs to get some good yardage, if not a first down, or throw for... Uh, you know, some good yardage, if not a first down. Now, I've never looked at Darian Durant as an elite quarterback. Maybe he's proving me wrong. Maybe he is. But I don't think he is. I think he's a good quarterback, but I don't think he's elite. So, the Bombers' defensive line, they need to get up on him. And they need to tackle him in the backfield when he's running around uh, trying to make his, his plays. Uh, now, something obviously that will help the Winnipeg Bombers uh, do some more of that is downfield coverage. And it's been weak this year. Lots of getting beat on corner routes. The Bombers, it's no secret that they're getting burnt on corner routes. And so we're looking at guys like Javon Johnson and Alex Suber. I like both guys, but looking at them, and you can't always, you can't always blame the person that gets beat, right? If the help isn't coming, uh, then, then sometimes it's the help's fault. But, you know, looking at guys like Javon Johnson and Suber for a monster game. And I think the Bombers are looking towards those guys for a monster game too as they've brought in other players uh, to be worked through their paces and tried out at those positions. So those guys, Johnson and Suber, need to have a big game downfield. Otherwise, they might find themselves on, uh, on a short leash. And if they do cover well downfield, that'll give the defensive line and the defensive rushing guys an opportunity to... Uh, wrap up Durant. It'll give them an extra second, but they've got to tackle well. They've got to tackle well and get Durant in the backfield. And then uh, maybe the final key to a win for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers would be crowd noise. Investors Group Field is supposed to be one of the loudest, if not the loudest, stadium in the CFL. But we don't know. There hasn't been much to cheer about this season. So it's, uh, it's in the design. The, des the design of the stadium is to contain the noise, but we haven't had a chance to really try that out. Now, the fans are going to be there. It's a sold-out game. A bunch of Saskatchewan fans will be there, but it is a sold-out game. You can expect that there's going to be a lot of blue and gold jerseys in the stands cheering on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. But boys, you got to give us something to cheer about. It's hard to go two and three quarters standing up and cheering and making noise when it's two and out, two and out, two and out, beat by corner route, beat by corner route, beat long, long downfield, nobody covering a man. So we need something to, uh, to cheer about Bombers, and if you, if you give us that, you know that the Winnipeg Faithful is going to be on their feet and making noise even right from the beginning, but we need you to help us sustain that noise so that we can help throw Saskatchewan off their game. I think if Winnipeg executes on those three facets uh, by sacking Durant when they get the chance, containing Sheets, I guess that, you know part of that also is their downfield coverage and giving the fans something to cheer about. I would predict a Winnipeg victory. I don't think it's going to be a blow. It's going to be a close game, fun to watch. And uh, I'll post some more videos around game time and from the game. And this has been Don the Sign Guy working at the Bunker Youth Ministry in Winkler. We'll talk to you later.